Discussion on proximal isovelocity surface area or PISA method for estimation of mitral regurgitation. PISA method is based on the continuity equation. When a flow passes through a narrow orifice, as it approaches the narrowest region, there is a flow convergence and flow acceleration. PISA is the surface area of the hemisphere at the aliasing region of the flow convergence. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. PISA increases as the flow increases and also with lower aliasing velocity. To reduce errors in measurement, smaller aliasing velocity has to be set to get higher PISA measurement with lower chance for errors. Regurgitant flow rate can be calculated as 2 pi r squared into V aliasing. Radius is measured from the orifice to point of color change. If the flow convergence is not a true hemisphere, the angle subtended by the flow convergence at the orifice has to be measured and divided by 180 to get a correction factor. Good correlation between angiographic estimates of regurgitant flow and PISA based estimates have been reported. Limitations of PISA method include 1. Dynamic change in orifice 2. Oval or irregular regurgitant orifice 3. Non-optimal flow convergence 4. Not useful when there are multiple regurgitant orifices Hemi-elliptic proximal isovelocity surface area method has been suggested for more accurate quantification of mitral regurgitation by PISA method. Another method to overcome the variation in shape of PISA from a true hemisphere is three-dimensional echocardiography. In a pediatric population, it was found that PISA is rarely hemispherical but more often prolate or oblique hemispheroid. Here are the first set of journal references. One more journal reference is here. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.